TV KPM Dede TV KPM Wow, this art display is so incredible and amazing and so beautiful. I have been longing to come to this exhibition for so long and now I'm truly satisfied to see these paintings. But look here, we have more. We have um, the batik painting and also a painting of the marine life. Hmm. But I wonder, how were these paintings actually made and created? Do you want to know more? I sure do. If you want to know more, come, let's go to class together. I'll show you. Chain Did It TV KPM with me, Shafika Farahin, and today we are learning for English with our topic, which is very interesting and very creative. It is about image installation art. But before we get further into the details of our topic today, let's first introduce our teacher for today, who is none other than teacher Nur Hidayah Abu Hanim. Hi, teacher. Hi, Shafika. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Are you doing great? Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Before we move further, also I want to introduce our sign language interpreter, who is Teacher Lina. Hi, Teacher. How are you? Okay, that's great. It's lovely to have you here joining us today. Now, before we proceed and talk about our topic, which is image installation art. Hmm, installation art. What exactly is installation art? But we'll first introduce our students for today. Let's have them here behind me. Hello, pupils. How are you? Doing great? All right, everyone is looking super cheerful today. Now, Teacher Hidayah, can yes. we introduce them one by one, please? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, let us introduce our friends online, which is the first one. Hi, Atia. Hi, Atia. Welcome. And then we have, and then we have mm -hmm. uh, Shahira. Shahira. Hi, Shahira. Hello, Shahira. And then we have Ain. Hi, Hi Ain. And last but not least, we have Alpha. Hello, Hi, Alpha. Alpha. Welcome, everyone. It's good to have you here and learning with us today. Now, teacher Hidayah, yes. the hot question for today, <laughs> yes. installation art. Mm. Was it the one that I was wondering just now in our short sketch? Is that installation art or is it something else, teacher? Oh, hmm. obviously, we will get to know along the way okay okay all right <laughs> surprise there yes <laughs> all right so shall we start yes let's begin our class today okay so everybody hi and we will start our lesson with this first one okay if you have your textbook so you can refer to our textbook page 118 so the unit for today is unit 8 which is image the skills that we are using today is reading and also some um, speaking activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously you can use your textbook, our textbook, which is Full Blast Four textbook. All right. Okay, so let me show you our pictures. Mm -hmm. I have some pictures to share with our class today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first picture. Hmm, there's someone there looking at something. Yes. Yeah, it's so Admiring something. As well. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have the second picture. Hmm. hmm. What is that? Yeah, I wonder mm. too. Okay, and then we have the third picture. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. And the last picture. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we have all this beautiful work, uh, piece of art, which is very beautiful, right? Mm -mm. I wonder. Hmm, where can we find all this? Hmm. hmm, maybe we can ask our friends online? Yes, friends online. Huh. Perhaps someone would like to yes. volunteer. Where can we find these pictures? These pictures or any work can of raise art? Raise your hand up. Yeah. Anyone? Don't be shy. 
wants to go first? Oh, okay. Ain. Okay. Ain. Okay. Can you share with us where can we find all this? I think um, this art can be found at art gallery or maybe studio. Oh, mm, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so let us take a look. So, obviously, all this beautiful work of art, we can find it mm -mm. at art gallery. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, I have another question for you guys. The first one, how often do you visit art gallery? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, anyone would you like to try? Anyone online? Oh, okay. Atia. Do you usually Sometimes do? Sometimes I oh. visit a uh, art gallery maybe like once a year. Oh, once, once a, year. a year. That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough. Yes. <laughs> Some people don't go a a at all in a year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm, okay, thank you so much. And I have another question. Mm -hmm. Do you know any famous work of art? Mm. Ah. Any one of you know? Anyone famous? Anyone huh? famous? All right. Uh, Who Au have? Oh yeah. Aulia. Alpha. <laughs> Alpha. Sorry. Yes, Alpha. Um, one of the famous art that I know is the Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Wow. Wow. Uh, he's a famous one. Yes. 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 <laughs> mm hmm. And maybe the last one. Uh -huh. um, can we maybe have someone else can share. Yes, as well. Oh yes, we have Shahira. Um, the the famous art I know is Mona Lisa smile, created by Ronaldo da Vinci. Oh, oh Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. Also, hearing from Shahira as well. Can we still hear from you? How often do you ah. visit art galleries? Because just now, um, our friend Ayn said mm -hmm. she goes only once a year. How about you? <laughs> mm. How often do you visit art galleries? Yes. I unfortunately I haven't got it yet. Oh, oh. you should! You should! It'll be so maybe, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Maybe someday, someday she can ask her mother mm -mm. and go to any art galleries around Malaysia. Yes, I'm yeah. sure you'll find a lot of things that you haven't wondered before. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. How about we ask our the others? Yes, we should, we should, yes. <laughs> Who else okay. would like to share? Mm. Um, perhaps one of the two questions as well. Uh Ain, Ain, would you like to try? Mm-hmm. How often do you visit art galleries? Maybe once a year. Oh, oh. same as I need. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe because our school is quite far yes. from the city, mm -hmm. so that's why it it would take. Um, they seldom go to the art galleries, yeah, right? It's the distance as well. Oh uh, yeah. All right. But it's okay. Maybe during your holiday, mm -hmm. maybe you can ask your parents and try to visit any of art gallery around Malaysia. Yes, okay. I do wonder as well. I'm uh -huh. sure pupils and everyone watching, how often do teachers <laughs> go to art galleries? Perhaps oh. you do go more <laughs> than once a year. <laughs> uh, maybe because of sometimes I have work to do, so uh -huh. I rarely go, but I went once a year. Once a year? Yeah, at least I get to know about arts. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they say if you go once a year, it's fine, as long as you really, really admire the beauty and really go through every yeah. art in there so you really have the satisfaction <laughs> all right uh, uh -huh. I, I am sure i'll go for uh, one next um yeah. let's see how <laughs> uh, but now we're going for a short break first and we'll be right back here for meningah atas Let's come back to class. Today we are learning English for Form 4 and our topic for today is Image Installation Art. But the topic for this segment is called Ingenuity Art. But we are going to be focusing on installation art and with me here teaching us today is Miss Hidayah. So I want to ask Miss Hidayah for this installation art. I was wondering how it looks like, how it 
actually is. Do we have samples or pictures of them? Oh, for mm. sure. In the lesson, we mm -hmm. will get to know some pictures of installation art. All right. So okay. let's proceed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let us move on to our segment. So first of all, I would like you to look at this picture. So we have the first one, weather project. The second one, traffic light three. And the third one, melting man. Mm -hmm. So this picture, you can look at our textbook page 118. So how about we ask our friends? Mm -mm. What is their opinion about this picture? Mm. Okay, mm. who is going to give their opinion first? Yeah. Can you raise your hand up? Ah, okay, Adia. Mm -hmm. Uh, for picture number two, I see there a lot of traffic. You look like a tree. Oh, uh -huh. wow. So, the traffic light. Actually, there are a lot of traffic light, yes, right? Yes, that's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> so, it looks like a tree. Mm -mm. So, we can see from the name, the traffic light tree. Looks like mm. a Christmas tree as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, that is um, uh, Atiyah's opinion. How right. about... Mm, the others you want to try? Maybe you can try for the weather project or the or, melting man. Hmm. Any ideas? Oh, okay. Ain. Ain. Melting man looks like a crystal. The oh. men are sitting on the stone. I think they will melt because the title is melting man. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so good we can observation. <laughs> good observation. Yes, it looks like crystal. Mm -hmm. hmm. So. The title there, Melting Man. So yes. I wonder what will happen then. That right. sounds a bit sad as well. <laughs> hmm. A lot of yeah. story behind just the name. Yes. Okay. So actually, mm -hmm. installation art is a piece of modern sculpture that is made using sound, light, or the others, as well as objects. So, um, you have other, you have a one object and then you try to create and be creative to make it the other object mm -hmm. or the other subject. Mm -hmm. That is installation art. All right. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let us move on to our um, topic here. Mm -hmm. So, everyone, you can refer to page 118 and 119 mm -hmm. where you can refer to our textbook and get the whole the entire text of installation art okay all right okay so shall we start with the first one mm -hmm. okay uh, okay Shahira. who wants to read Shahira already raised her hand <laughs> can we have her yes yes please Um, installation art. Think of the last time you visited an art gallery. Did any of the following close to your mind? If only art weren't so boring. I wish I hadn't come here. Paintings, paintings. If only artists would create something more exciting. Well, times are changing. A growing number of artists have chosen to challenge the traditional concept of art. They believe that artists should be permitted to express their creativity in any way they please and they should have the opportunity to exhibit their works in all environments. All right. Okay, okay. good job. So, Shahira already read for us. So, let us take a look mm -hmm. to the question. Okay, what have a growing number of artists chosen to do? Mm -hmm. So, A... They want to change art concept because drawing was boring. B, they want to challenge the traditional concept of art. And C, they want to educate everyone. So what you have to do now, everyone out there, you mm -hmm. can write your answer on a piece of paper and show me your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. you guys ready? Ready okay. there? Pupils, what's mm -hmm. your answer? Show us your answer. Hold it up to your camera. Oh, uh -huh. B. We have B answers. Now we're just waiting I'm? for Ayn. Okay. B as well. Okay, good job. Everyone try to answer B. Okay, okay just to share with you guys, mm -hmm. this is one tip for us to answer this kind of question. Okay, first, what you have to do is we have to identify the keywords here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take a look here. 
growing number. Oops. Uh huh. Uh, I forgot to. The pen function. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Okay. There you have it. Uh, on the third row, just down so, there. Oops. Should I help? Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sorry for that. Right. Okay. So we'll take a look here. A growing number of artists chosen to do. So this is the keyword to help students, oh sorry, the pupils to answer the question. Okay. And then look at the question. Sorry, look at the text. Mm -hmm. Try to find similar words. With the answers given? Yes. Okay. So just now, in the question, it mentioned growing number of artists chosen to do. Mm -hmm. So, inside the text, we have here, right? Mm -hmm. So, the answer should not, should not be far away from that statement. Ah. So, here, the answer, yes, they want to challenge the traditional concept of art because it mentioned here. Mm -hmm. ah. It's also the same exact uh, sentence, so yes, it should correct. be easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let us move on to the second question. Mm -hmm. So you guys ready? Why have they chosen to challenge the art concept? Hmm. A, they want to change art concept because drawing was boring. B, they should have the op opportunity to exhibit their work in some environments or C, they should have the opportunity to exhibit their works in all environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody yes. try to answer this question. Yes, let's have them answer at the same time, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, once you're done, just uh, give Show me a nod perhaps. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, there you okay. go. Ayn is first. Where are the other girls? B, C. C and oh, C. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Someone right. answer B and the, the other three? C. Answer C. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Again, when we want to answer this kind of question, you have to look carefully to the details. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just now, look at the keywords chosen to challenge the art concept. We try to find the same or similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes the question change some words. Maybe the word beautiful, so mm -hmm. maybe they change uh, into similar words like pretty. Mm -hmm. ah. Sometimes they change um, the word is into something uh, that is, uh, sorry, they did not use um, the in word the directly. Directly, ah, ah, I see. Okay, so this is the statement here. Mm -hmm. Have chosen the challenge concept of art. So you have to compare with the answers. Mm -hmm. And the answer should be C. Ah, <laughs> right. I think I'm did not get the correct answer because she mm -hmm. <laughs> in all yeah the statement uh, sorry the answers b is mm -hmm. some environments mm -hmm. so make sure if you want to answer the question look at the details mm -hmm. okay Ah, uh, it's it's just the word some and some, all is different. Yes. All right, uh, teacher. Now yeah. that all our pupils have answered two questions, how was the answer? Should we give them reward? Yes, I think all of them should get two. Pens. For uh huh. <laughs> I okay, think they should the get two each. All right, okay. two pens for all of you. Yes. Good job so far. Good job, everybody. And I believe we do have more questions. So yes. Uh, prepare yourselves. <laughs> all right, we can move on, teacher. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we move on to the second one. Oops, sorry. Okay, who wants to read this one? Okay, Alpha. Yes, please. This desire for artistic freedom gave rise to a form of art called installation art, which first became popular in the late 1960s. The primary goal of installation art is to change the viewer's perspective, perspective perception Pers Pers of space by okay. transforming the ordinary into something quite extraordinary. Okay. Installation artists use a wide range of materials to create their works, from sticks and foam to chairs and cars. But they also reject the traditional idea that art is only visual and people who experience their artworks often have to use a variety of senses like hearing, touch and smell. Okay, good job Alpha. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lovely read. <laughs> Very clear. Okay, so let's let us take a look mm -hmm. to the question. Okay. 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 
when did installation art first become popular? Mm -hmm. So when did installation art first become popular? So everyone, please jot down your answer and show <laughs> us your answer, okay? All right, once you're ready, you can ah. put it uh, on your camera. Okay, mm -hmm. for this one, another tip, Shafika. Yes. Okay, we'll take a look at the question here. Mm -hmm. when. when? This is WH. Um, WH question. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about when, so we are referring to date, mm -hmm. year, duration, and so on. Mm -hmm. Same goes to um, the question of who. So the answer should be uh, the answer should be uh, the person or the mm -hmm. subject that we are talking about in the text. Right. Ah. Okay. So everyone. Show us your answer. Okay, I believe Ayn has an answer just now. <laughs> everyone else? Okay, a, a. everyone say A. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Yes, when we know the question when, okay, in mm -hmm. Malay we call it as Bila. Bila. Mm -hmm. Yes, Bila. So directly we know the question. So when we look at the text, we know, okay, there's only one date here. Mm. The one year, which is in the late of. 1960s. Right. So you can get the answers straight away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the answer is correct, everybody. In the late of 1960s. So everyone okay. should get one. One more pen for everyone. Yes. All right. <laughs> for the specific text, do we have another question, uh, teacher? Ah, yes. Mm -mm. Maybe the last one? Ah, okay. Ah. The last one. <laughs> okay. What kind of materials do installation arts, sorry, artists, mm -mm. use to create their work? A. They use a wide range of material from sticker to chairs and cars. B. They use a wide range of materials like chairs and cars only. And C. They use a wide range of materials from stick and foam to chairs and car. Mm -hmm. Please be careful, read the details carefully. Sometimes it's quite confusing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to check to the text. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody? All right. Do you have the answer? <laughs> you do? Okay, so please show us your answer. Okay, show them up. Uh, All right, we uh, have <laughs> everyone. Okay, okay, so three answers C, mm -hmm. one answer B. From Atiyah. Mm, Atiyah. Right. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe it's quite confusing, right, with mm -hmm. the uh, sentence structure yes. or so on. Okay, so as we can see here, materials. What kind of materials? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, as we can see here, what kind of material? So we try to find the similar, the similar sentence, okay, or phrases. So here, uh, with a blue color, so we can see it is similar to the question, right? Mm -hmm. So the answer should be near to it. So here, from sticks and foam to chairs and, and cars. cars. So the answer is. C. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, Atia. Mm -hmm. It's okay, maybe she's confused with some of the sentence, right? Right. I, uh, I also remember uh, just now, teacher mentioned mm -hmm. that uh, you do have to read carefully the sentences yes. because uh, it is uh, something that is quite straightforward as well. They didn't yes. really twist the yeah. answers. All right, do we get rewards? Yes. Uh, okay, <laughs> rewards for everyone today. Yeah. Good job on your answers and uh, good job for trying as well. Yeah. Okay, is that all for uh, this segment? Yes. I think that's about it. <laughs> and we'll have more to do after this, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned in front of your TV and we'll be right back here on Meningah Atas. Yeah. KPM 
Hello everyone, welcome back to Mendengar Atas. Today we are learning English Form 4. Now, we are going to be focusing, we have been focusing uh, for reading and also speaking skill and this segment focuses solely on reading, right uh, teacher? Yes, correct. And uh, for those of you watching, uh, do get uh, your textbook, uh, Full Blast Plus 4 textbook and refer to pages one, 118 and also 119 for this specific segment. Now teacher, how do we begin our segment today? Okay, mm -hmm. so <laughs> we will continue our lesson with let's read it. Okay, mm -hmm. so in here we will read some articles. Sorry, we have one article only. All right. And you have to choose the best answer because we already practicing uh, before. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will try to read properly, find the correct answer, and lastly we try to do the fine word activity. All right. Okay, so let us move on. Oh, before that, just like what Shafika uh, share. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can refer to our textbook, Full Blast Plus 4, in pages 118 and also 119. Okay? Okay, so we have Paragraph 3 for Installation I. So, who wants to try to read this one? Okay. Hmm. Who is the first person? Oh, okay, Ayn. Alright, Ayn. In 2003, in the main hall of the Tate Modern in London, mm -hmm. artist Olafur Eliasson installed a glowing sun and enormous mirror on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. The room was also filled with a mist made of sugar and water. The installation was called the Weather Project and if you had visited the Tate Modern at the time, you will have seen many vis visitors yes. lying on the floor and looking up at their reflection of on the ceiling. Okay, Ayn, before that, we will have a question after this. Who you want? <laughs> which which friend you want um, here? Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Uh, who do you want to pick uh, right. to answer the question? Oh, interesting. Ah. <laughs> I who? think it's Alpha. 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 Okay, Alpha. Are you ready? So let's take a look. Okay, sorry. Let's take a look to the question. Mm -mm. Okay, the question is quite simple. Where is the Tate Modern? Hmm. So Alpha, do you have the answer? Okay. Yes. Yeah, can you share with us the answer? Tate Modern is in London. In London. Mm. Oh, where is the answer? Can you share with us? In the text, it is mentioned that uh -huh. in the main hall of the Tate Modern in London. Oh, ah, mm -hmm. let us check. So, here we can see that it mentioned Tate Modern. Okay, so as you can see in the blue color, mm -hmm. uh, that is the clue. Uh, the clue to the answer, right? So, the answer should be in red. So, in London. Correct. Right. Good job. Good job, Can Alpha. we give one to Alpha, <laughs> Alpha? and, and also, also to I. I. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Good job. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look to the second question. Okay, this one, everyone should try, okay? Mm -mm. Uh, you guys at home, you also should try this. Okay, we are using the same text. Okay, what did visitors to the weather project at the Tate Modern do? Hmm. Hmm. A. Recreate different weather. B. Look at themselves in a huge mirror. Or C. Lie on the floor and look at the sunlight on the ceiling. Or D. Walk around drinking <laughs> sugar and water. <laughs> Interesting answers. <laughs> All okay. right. Hmm. Should we answer D? <laughs> hmm, I wonder what the uh. answer is. But an another tip uh, for hmm. this uh, question, uh, teacher. Well, what is? Uh, how do we focus on getting the right answer? Is it the keywords okay. from the question? So hmm. when we want to again, uh, it's quite um, it's quite straightforward. Straightforward. Mm -hmm. So you just look at the double H question first, uh -huh. and then you look at the keywords there. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look. Also, everyone. Can you show your answers? Your answers? Uh huh. Okay, B, B, I. 
B oh, as well. B. Okay, mm. let's take a look. Oh, here I already highlighted the words to help you. Mm -hmm. So the answer is B. Why it is B? Because we can look here an enormous mirror on the ceiling first, mm -hmm. and at the down there, looking up their reflection on the ceiling. Mm. So it will help you to get the answer B. B. Ah, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Should we give yes, everyone of one? Of course. <laughs> because they've tried. They've tried and everyone got the answers correct. Yes, right, good, good job. job. Okay, so who wants to read this one? Mm -hmm. And remember, whoever reads this gets to uh, get another person <laughs> to answer the question, okay? Yes. <laughs> ah. All right, okay, Shahira. Was, oh. Is that Shahira? Atia. Atia. Okay, okay Atia. sorry. <laughs> okay, Atia, can you read for us? Sometimes, artists are asked to stitch their installation in public areas. Mm -hmm. These are known as public art. Okay. The Traffic Light Tree 1998 by French sculptor Pierre Vivant is a famous example. Okay. These unusual tree-like structures stain 8 meters tall and feature 75 set of blinking traffic light. The tree is situated in Canary Wharf, one of London's many financial centres. Any flashing light are intended to represent the energy and the rhythm of the surrounding area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good try. Ah, right. not bad. Mm -hmm. Can we give one to Atiyah? Yes, of course. Atiyah. Atiyah. Ah, because of A lot of effort. French names as well. Okay. Mm. Uh, maybe is, I can uh, uh, highlight some uh, pronunciation. Yeah. This is financial. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Um, Maybe the French sculptor's name. Oh, yes. Pierre. 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 Ah, Pierre somewhere Vivian. there. Pierre Vivant. Okay. <laughs> okay. But a good work. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. All right. And Atia, uh, who should answer your question? The next question. I think it is Aini. Aini Shahira. Okay. Aini Shahira. Okay. So are you ready? Okay, who created the traffic light tree? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Who the created the traffic light tree? Oh, wow, very fast. Um, okay. <laughs> I created by French sculptor uh -huh. named Pierre Vivant. Okay. So, where did you find the answer? Um, in the in the uh, text. text. <laughs> in the text. <laughs> In okay. the text, okay. Um, in the sentence, okay. the traffic light tree, nineteen ninety-eight, by French sculptor oh, Pierre okay. Vivant. Ah, there you go. There, okay. Um, okay. When, thank you, congratulations. Mm -mm. Uh, that is the right answer. Good job. Good job. So, uh, Shahira should get one. Huh? Okay, Pen. just to highlight to everyone that the question here is who. Mm. So, um. You know who should be the name of something or someone. Mm -mm. So when you look at the uh, text, you know, okay, there's only one name here. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be Pierre Vivian. Okay. Right. Okay. The next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, everyone should answer this, okay? Okay. When was the traffic light tree created? When was the traffic light tree created? Is it in 1997, 1998, or mm -hmm. 1999, or mm -hmm. in the 1990s? It's another 5W <laughs> question. Ah. Yes. Ah. This is pretty straightforward as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, girls, if you have the answer, do show them on your screen right now. Ah. Okay. B. All right. Okay. Oh, so, let's check the answer. Yes, correct. correct. It's very direct. Mm. So, um, when you know the question when, so it's supposed to be date, year, or period. Mm -mm. Okay? Right. Okay. So, next we have paragraph huh. five. Before that, I do would like to fill oh, in the reward for yes. them. Yes. All right. Thank you, Shafika. Despite being a very straightforward <laughs> question, it is still a question yes. and we do have to reward them. So, yes. good job, girls. Okay. Let's try their best. Mm -hmm. Next paragraph. Okay. Paragraph five. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try to read this one? Okay, Shahira. Yes, please. 
installation artists of, often use their works of art to convey a message. Mm -hmm. In 2009, mm -hmm. Brazilian artist Nele Azevedo created an installation called Mel Melting Man. Mm. The aim of the installation was to draw attention to the destructive impact of global warming on our environment. Yes. Melting Man consists of a thousand little men made of ice, which Azevedo placed mm -hmm. sitting on the steps of a Berlin concert hall mm -hmm. only to be turned into a, into a puddle a while later. Their rapid disappearance serving as a warning to humanity. The, mel the Melting Man installation has since been exhibited in a number of cities, including Paris, Florence, Havana, and Sao Paulo. Wow, mm -hmm. good job! Wow. But but sadly, now I know that the installation art actually have a meaning behind it. Wow. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> moving on to the question. Uh, uh, maybe that we was can a... give one to Shahira? Of course, <laughs> Shahira, who do you pick to answer the question? Uh, yes. Mm. Um, I want my friend Ain to answer this question. Okay, right, Ayn, be Ayn. ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, okay, I have two questions here. Mhm. Mm okay. All right. So you ready, Ain? <laughs> Can you answer? Wow. Can she answer both of them? Oh um, ah, yeah, it's quite a... challenging, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So the first question is: What did Melting Man consist of, and what was the purpose of? Azevedo's Melting Man. Mm -hmm. ah. If anyone else do have the answer, you can mm. raise your hand as well. Yeah. Mm -mm. For yeah. number one, uh -huh. Melting Man consists of a thousand little men made of ice. Okay. And for number two, yeah. the purpose of Azevedo's Melting Man to raise awareness of the destructive impact of global warming on our environment. Okay, so mm -hmm. hmm, where did you find the answer? Can you help the others? All right, uh, can anyone ah. perhaps help mine as well? <laughs> uh, there you go. Ah. I think teacher is helping you out a bit Okay, here. so mm -hmm. I'll show you the answer, okay? So the, for the first one, uh, what did Melting Man consist of? So you can directly look at it. it consists of the thousand of men mm -hmm. made of ice. And also the second one, you can see the red one. To draw attention to the destructive impact of global warming on our environment. Right. So basically when you want to uh, find the answer, you have to look on the keywords and also mm -hmm. look on the details. Right. So okay. another reward for Ayn as well? Yeah. How many teacher? Two. Two. Good job, Ayn. <laughs> because uh, she answered two. All right, teacher, I believe we have a bit of an activity yes. uh, that involves matching words, perhaps, <laughs> do we? Uh, yes. For our people sometimes and also those at home. Hmm, can okay. we see? Okay. So, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. So, basically, we will refer to our, um, to our text mm -hmm. in page 118 and also 119. So, I have here some of the words that you can match. So here, uh, you have to find words or phrases in the text and match them with the definition. So what you have to do, I've given here um, some of the paragraph, for example, like this one, an image or in a mirror or a shiny surface, mm -hmm. um, the answer should be in paragraph three for located, it is located. It is located in mm -hmm. paragraph four. Okay. <laughs> um, for this one, a powerful effect. So it is in paragraph five, and also last but not least, people in general. It is. Um, you can find the answer in paragraph five. Mm, okay. Right. So maybe we can ask two of our pupils Both, to uh -huh. answer. Uh, two question each. Mm -mm. Shall okay. we? All right, let's have them. Uh, who is going to volunteer first? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe they are looking for the answers in the textbook. All right, Atia, <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> okay. All right, go on. Okay, Atia. For the number one, uh -huh. an image in a mirror or shiny surface okay. is reflection mm -hmm. and located is situated. Ah. Hmm. Okay, can we get the answer? Oh, okay, shall we check the answer? Mm -mm. Okay, so yeah, correct. All right. So, 
mirror uh, an image or in a mirror or shiny surface, it is a reflection. Mm -hmm. So correct. And the second one located situated. Wow, good job. So one more for for uh, Atia. Atia. Okay, good wow. job, Atia. All right. So many mm -mm. hands they get. Okay. So the next one, who wants to try for maybe number three and number four? Mm -hmm. uh, who wants to try? Yes. The last person for this segment. Yes. Who wants to leave with a bang? <laughs> <laughs> Should we pick one of the girls? <laughs> okay, oh, okay, Shahira. <laughs> All right, Shahira. They say, oh, you la, you la. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can tell. Okay. Which one is um, the answer? Okay. A powerful effect definition is impact. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And people in general, definition is humanity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you sure with your answer? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, let's take a look. Yes, correct. A powerful effect means impact. And last but not least, people in general is humanity. Wow, Shahira already <laughs> clapped. So let's give yeah. him a reward now yes. for Shahira. <laughs> well well done. Ah. Uh -huh. Well done, girls, today for the segment. I believe I have to top up more pens yeah. because I've only got one left. So give me time and we'll be right back here on Meningah Atas. another segment of today's class which is English Form 4 with me Shafika and also teacher Hidayah. Now for this segment we are going to be focusing on another title which is called Gifted with a question mark. Now why is this segment called Gifted with a question mark teacher? Hmm um. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, we will take a look afterwards. Yes, okay? it's always a surprise with Miss Hidaya. So yes. do stay tuned and see what this yes. segment actually means. Okay, so teacher. I hope everyone are ready. So for this one, um, we will do some uh, speaking activities. So we will get to, we will get some responses for our from our pupils. Okay, okay. So gifted. Uh, just now, what Shafika said. So mm -hmm. we will ask our uh, pupils later on, okay? So I have uh, four pictures here. We have pottery, batik, just like this one. All right. And we have photography and jewelry making. So we'll take a look hmm. which of them actually appeals the pupils the most and why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Maybe one of you or maybe all of you can respond afterwards. Mm -hmm. So who wants to respond first? first? Okay. Who's going to go first? Which mm -hmm. one appeals to you the most mm. and why? Oh, okay. Atia. Mm -hmm. um, for me, mm -hmm. it's drawing batik. Drawing batik. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh. Why do you like? Because of... Uh -huh. uh, because because of most of my family is wearing batik. Oh, okay. Wow. So it's a oh. family tradition. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I, I'm oh. guessing you're wearing batik right now somewhere. <laughs> you're stocking somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no. Oh. Right. Okay. Um, how about the others? Maybe can we, we can ask Alpha. Alpha, mm -hmm. what's your opinion on this? Which of these actually appeals you the most mm -mm. and why? For me, it is photography because photography. it can be a great source of comfort. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. it can expose you to fresh air and connect you to nature. Oh, oh. okay. It means that ah. you like to take the nature. Mm. Ah, I like that's your opinion. great. So when you go out there, you take the pictures of um, environment. Mm -hmm. and um, you feel fresh when yes. you walk around the jungle and calm as well. <laughs> yeah, nature. Yeah, mm -mm. good. Oh, all right. Okay, how about um, Ain? Okay. Would you like to share your opinion on this? Which of these pictures appeal to you most? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
same as Alpha, uh -huh. I choose photography. Photography, why? Hmm. Um, for me, mm -hmm. uh, because photography can capture beautiful moment of my life. Oh. Um, also. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Through, through pictures, we mm -hmm. can see other people's true self. Oh, oh wow. wow! That means That's she true. can read people. Yeah. Mm, Looking at the picture and she knows. Uh. Okay, good job. <laughs> All right. Okay, how about last but not least, we mm -hmm. ask Shahira. Uh, uh -huh. um, for me, uh -huh. it's different. I oh, choose different. jewelry making. Wow! Oh. You should okay. be creative then. <laughs> okay, why? There is a I like to see the creation process in YouTube. Oh, okay. So you like to look at the creation online. Uh -huh. Ah, huh Yes. So she's pretty fascinated by <laughs> the jewelry in the end, but she's more fascinated at how it's produced. Yes. All right. So do we get rewards for the yes. girls? Yes. All of Everyone them. Everyone should get one. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. So, mm -hmm. um, for everyone's information, um, it's not about uh, art. It's not about installation art. There are a lot of it. Uh, we have poetry, batik, photography, jewelry making. We also have uh, sculpturing. In um, um, our curriculum, actually, we have also visual art. Visual art. Yes, from oh. year one until form six. So, right. actually, um, art subject is being taught in our education system. Mm, interesting. Ah. For those of you interested to get the subject, you can always <laughs> sign up. Alright, yes. now, how about the performance of our online pupils? How so, well did they do? Yeah, they mm. did great, I think. So, I should give them a big round of applause. Oh, yeah. Wow. And also not to forget, you do have your pens here yes. waiting for you. <laughs> Okay, teacher, now that we know how well the, uh, uh, the pupils did today, I hope all of you at home did well as well. Can yes. we have an overall um, conclusion for our lesson for today, please? Okay, mm. so um, here we can see they already um, try to practice mm -hmm. on our main skill, which is reading. So they already guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by the context on a wide range of familiar topic. And also they do some exercises on speaking, which is they explain and try to justify on point of view. So overall performance, they did very well and I should give them a big, uh, sorry, a double thumbs up. All right. Yes. Now that's the conclusion from uh, Ms. Hidayah. Now, where can people watching uh, get extra information or materials to do their revisions for today's class as well? Okay, so for additional resources, you can go to Digital Educational Learning website, which is our Delima website. So this is the link, so you can type and try to look for additional resources. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Hidayah, for joining us today okay. and teaching us about image installation, which focuses on um, reading and also speaking skills. And thank you as well for Girls Online. You did a wonderful job today, as yeah. teacher mentioned, and not to forget, our sign language interpreter teacher Lina. For those of you watching, stay tuned to the TV all the time. We'll be right back anytime, anywhere on our YouTube channel and on NTV7. So do stay tuned. Until we meet again, I'm Shafika Farahid. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Bye.